Hey, Lester, as a veteran of this team, uh, what is it going to take to get y'all back on track? Uh, definitely going back to the drawing board. I feel like uh, after a loss like that, I honestly feel like every time this team loses, I feel like we, we let the city down and the fans down a lot. And really just coach, because I feel like uh, Coach Hardaway is one of the most hardworking head coaches in the entire country. The way he's just devoted into us and all the time he just puts into us more than himself. I feel like we just owe it to him to just bounce back from something like this and really just lock in. I feel like he trusts us veterans coming back to really just guide the young guys. And I feel like we haven't really been doing it, but I feel like the loss kind of woke us up a little bit. And even with myself, I feel like I'm gonna do a better job with leading those young guys and those freshmen into just doing the right thing and just stopping the little mistakes before they happen. Kenny said he wanted y'all guys to learn from that loss. What, what were some things you think you just picked up um, after going through a game like that? I mean, it's that one, stat line that the whole country sees. I feel like 21 turnovers a game is ridiculous. Um, it's something that we're working on, and it's just something that comes with us just understanding the offense. I feel like uh, we've been working on our reads a little bit more, and we've really been in the film, in the film room a lot more since that game. So I feel like just coach trying to get us all to understand it more and just look at the mistakes on film so we know we can't make that pass, we can't throw that turnover. So really film has a huge part in doing with the turnovers we have because I feel like they're unforced. It's really just us kind of trying to go for that home run play or us just trying to do too much. And coach just has to let us know that. We just have to let the offense run. And a lot of those turnovers are early in the shot clock. So really just letting the offense develop and get into it, I feel like that'll cut down on our turnovers. Are you surprised? Surprised that's right. I mean, you've been here last year where you had some turnover mm -hmm. issues. Are you surprised that you're not I mean, here we are again? It's definitely frustrating, but it goes back to Coach Hardaway saying that he just gives us a, a lot of freedom. He says he feels like we have the most freedom in more than any team in the country, any other head coach. It's like they give the ball to the point guard. It's in one person's hands. Nobody else dribbles it or does anything. It kind of gives us the freedom to just, if you feel like you have a play, you could go and make a play for somebody else. But he says he doesn't want to get to the point where he just has to do that. But I feel like, like I said earlier, with the film, the film aspect of it, we're definitely in the film room way more as a team as just understanding it and being more of a student of the game to where we know our reads better and just know not to throw those little home run passes or just forcing those turnovers. Is it too much for you? Uh, not at all. I feel like, uh, like I said, we're definitely going to bounce back from it. I'm definitely myself. I'm going to lead the team more and lead the young guys more because I feel like I'm supposed to be more of a kind of a backbone for them to come in with my experience in the game and them just freshly coming out, Jalen and the money being 17 and 18. I'm gonna do a better job with just guiding them and talking to them more on and off the floor. Yeah, is it more of like a talking to them thing for a mindset thing or like what specifically is guiding them? Uh, I mean, it's definitely mental because those two, I feel like those two kids have so much hype behind their name. So it's kind of like, I feel like they do have a lot on their plate, but at the same time, they need somebody in their corner to uplift them when things go wrong. And I feel like I'm gonna be that guy for them, just be kind of like an older brother for them and really just guide them in the right path and show them the things that are right and wrong. Hey, it's not a total loss. You went up there and you beat a very good Virginia Tech team. What positive you did take from the first game that you can carry over the rest of the season? Um, I feel like we, we, we could be the best team in the country when we move the ball and just really swing the ball and everybody's touching it. And if we cut down on the turnovers, I promise you, I feel like we're, we're the best team in the country. With the talent that we have, that's our only, I feel like the main problem right now is just those turnovers. Averaging 21 a game is insane to me. And I feel like the games that we do cut down, cut it down to maybe 10 or under, I feel like those are the games where we strive and we look our best. As a veteran, what's the, when you're talking to Imani and Jalen, what's the biggest difference going to be playing on the road as opposed to playing at the Forum or even playing in Brooklyn at a neutral site? Um, definitely our first, I think our first four games was at home. It was kind of our comfort zone, just being in the Forum, uh, having the refs there, not, I wouldn't say on our side, but just kind of being in the, in the, in the home scenario is different on the road and this college this college stuff, I feel like, on the road, uh, coach used to say last year, Coach Matlock used to say, free throws and layups on the road. That's what's always going to win those games. So I feel like locking in on those and really just understanding the game plan. Coach is going to have a game plan set every single game. And if we follow that to the T, I feel like we can never go wrong with that.